Hockey is a true Canadian sport enjoyed by all ages, and nowhere is this winter pastime more applauded than in Maple Creek, where hockey fans fill the stands to cheer on their favourite team. But this isn't just any hockey game, this is a battle. It's the Battle of the Little Big Puck. The Battle of the Little Big Puck is into its 31st year, bringing community members out to the local arena for an evening of hockey action and camaraderie. A concept which began through a casual conversation one afternoon. A couple of cowboys and a couple of uh, members of the Nick and Eat Band who were also somewhat cowboys on a hot summer afternoon were having a few cold beers in the old commercial hotel, which is one of our landmarks here. And, you know, they got bragging about and arguing back and forth who could ride the bucking horse, who could rope a calf, rope a steer. And all of a sudden, uh, the conversation turned to hockey. And one of them, I'm not even sure which side, had said, well, I don't know about that, but we know we got the, damn sure got the best hockey players. Of course, the other side called them on it. And they said, well, this winter, we're going to have a hockey game. And we'll determine that. And as they say, the rest is history. Although the group could have chosen any other sport for the community challenge, hockey was the ideal choice. From the excitement of the game, to the action on the ice, and the capacity crowd in the stands, these two teams are driven year after year for a competitive game, while nurturing long-standing friendships and raising money for various community projects. In this community of uh, Bape Creek and Niganit, you know, we, we, we hold it dear to our hearts because it's, it's unique. It, uh, nowhere else is it held. And, you know, like I said, we, we gain momentum. The Maple Creek uh, flag that we have here, you know, shows the Indian and the cowboy. And we, it's, for us, it's a mutual partnership, mutual respect. Hockey is a big part of small town Saskatchewan. But here in Maple Creek, this is an event. It just seems to go over so well and bring, really brings the community together. There's lots of people at the rink tonight. This will be the only time they come to the rink all year. So that's pretty cool in itself. Following several action-packed periods, the teams return to their dressing rooms. These players are not having a pep talk with their coach, but are preparing for a battle of sorts. The Nick and Eat Warriors are applying makeup and changing into their ancestral outfits. While the Pro Rodeo Cowboys are lacing up their champs for a unique twist in this hockey game. ceremonial entrance takes place on the ice as the third period now transitions into the Cowboys versus the Indians. With the local RCMP keeping the peace on the ice, refereeing the game dressed in their red surge and Stetsons. I guess what it makes us realize is uh, we do have distinct cultures so we get to celebrate that and only in the community of Maple Creek and Niganit can we do that. I guess you can do it openly so we, we celebrate that you know we're passionate about uh, who we are, the ranch community. It's a community that's not uh, disappearing, it's, it's actually gaining momentum and with us First Nation people as well too, you know, it's something that we teach our youngsters almost on a daily basis, so to go take it to the ice, is, it seems natural to us. As the action continues on the ice, now with each of the players facing a new challenge, with their outfits often limiting their overall skating ability, the game rises to a whole new level an excitement which transcends to the fans and the organizing committee. It's a privilege to play in this game. Not just a, a privilege in this area, but it's a privilege, I think, nationwide. There's no other place I know that has an event like this. And if you get to play in it even once, that's quite an honor. The Battle of the Little Big Puck, celebrating cultural diversity, friendship, and a sense of community. Maple Creek, where past is present.